Thomas, call an ambulance. What? A what? Agent York, George, are you okay? Oh, yes, I'm okay. I think I'm too old to be an acrobat, though. Diane looks okay, too. She should be able to tell us who did this to her. God, I hope so. But you, George, quite a catch. I'm impressed. Hmm? George? There, Nick. You're under arrest for the attempted murder of Diane Ames. Huh. Back off! Uh, Don't touch me! Uh. Yeah. Uh. Uh. Diane, no! Move! Emily, hurry! I requested and Thomas will need a body bag too. us to follow him. Shall we follow, Zack?
Are you out there? Kason, what are you doing in there? York, is that you? Thank God, I can't get this door open. Can you unlock it from your side? Kason, stand away from the door. What are you doing here? I was going to ask you the same thing. Well, let's just say I have my reasons, you know, pri private reasons. I don't really have to tell you, do I? Actually, you do. Diane just died a moment ago. What? You're not just a key witness now. You're now a suspect. And you need to tell me exactly what you were doing here. Well, I just, I just came here to talk with Diane to have a conversation. And I suppose that kiss mark on your cheek is from your conversation. This was just a spur of the moment thing. Which is exactly what killed Diane. Okay, okay. I came here to be with Diane. You happy now? We've been together before. Uh, a couple times. It's one of the reasons why I like coming to this town, see? This time is no different. I, I, I bumped into her in a bar in Seattle. I had some, some holiday coming up. Well, so, so I just took it and I drove her back here. I have a wife, you know, but, but we've been separated for a while. 
we're going through a divorce right now, and I don't want her lawyer finding out. Anyway, how could I kill Diane if I was in a room locked from the outside? Two hours ago, me and Diane... Easy, drinking upstairs. We were, you know, enjoying ourselves. Then Nick had to show up. Well, then Diane had a sudden change of heart. She locked me up in here. couldn't wait anymore, so I let Willie here out through the window. Then you showed up instead of Diane. Zach, Diane has become the third victim of our killer. And nada from questioning Nick. Nothing. Got no new leads from questioning Nick. He's taken the death of Diane really badly. In shock, the works. He claims to have liked talking with her about art, but he also had a problem with her views about men. He says that they argued, but not at a level that would lead to a murder. They were about to head out to the bar again together, but while he was waiting for Diane, someone knocked him out cold. He has no idea who it was either. Of course, Kaysen looks like a prime suspect but that door was locked from the outside. There was no other way in or out of that room, which means there is no evidence of his involvement at this time. He did say something else. The footsteps he heard outside the room were not heels, but a man's boots. And Nick was wearing boots. But now that Diane's dead, no one can back up Nick's statement, which is why we have Nick in custody and have to let Kaysen go free. That seemed like the only option, at least for now. One more thing, Zach. George looked terribly depressed. I guess this case is really getting to him. He's really responsible for the deaths of Becky and Diane. But take his rules and confidence away from him? I wonder what's left. Well, of course, he'd still have muscle. 